Hi everybody, Eric Moss here. In 2022, the city's Economic Development and Redevelopment Authority, referred to as HEDRA, piloted a facade improvement grant program uh, with the purpose of helping to incentivize investment in the downtown and Vermillion Street corridors. HEDRA provided $50,000 in grant funding with a requirement of essentially for every $1 of private investment, we would provide $1 of grant funding up to a $5,000 maximum. In total, the program funded 10 projects across the downtown and Vermillion Street corridors. Approximately $45,000 was invested on behalf of HEDRA, which leveraged over $75,000 in private investment. Hi everybody, Eric Moss here with the City of Hastings Economic Development and Redevelopment Authority. Joined here today with Barb Hollenbeck of SC Toys and also local property owner here in the downtown. So Barb, can you kind of describe what was done with the building? So this uh, building, this is 219 Sibley Street. It needed, all the work you see is tuck pointing. So that's repairing the mortar in between the bricks. And the construction company Acme did the work and we surmised that because it didn't have uh, gutters that it was getting all the runoff from the water and eroding the mortar. Hello, we're outside 209 Sibley Street here, the new home of Squeaky Wheel Pottery. Uh, here again with Barb Hollenbeck, property owner. Uh, Barb, can you describe to us a little bit about what was done with this, uh, this property with the facade grant dollars? Great, yes. Um, this property had a combination of both brick repair. I believe there was over 100 bricks that needed to be repaired, mostly due to water erosion coming off of a gutter. And then in addition to the um, bricks being replaced, there was a lot of tuck pointing and crack sealing with uh, new mortar. Excellent. And uh, is there anything left to be done on the project? Well, as you can see, it needs a fresh coat of paint. So my plan is to take those dollars that the city as part of the grant and paint, apply those dollars next year to fresh paint. So we'll bring the blue and wrap it around on the alley side and give it a fresh coat of paint for hopefully the next 20 years. Excellent, love to see it. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, joined here with Tasha Nelson, uh, owner of the Busted Nut. Uh, Tasha, can you give us a little bit of a story about you know, your facade grant and, and what all the work was done? Yes, um, I did some tuck pointing. They came in August and we're here about a week and a half. They did a great job. We used the grant program to help with the cost of it, which was fantastic. Um, helped offset a pretty big cost to do the brick. I only have the upper part of the building that's brick, which is nice compared to some others down here, but yes, it was very helpful. I plan on working on a little bit of the woodwork um, on the front next year and probably repainting. Excellent. Love to see those dollars reinvested. Hello, we're here at 2216 Vermilion Street, the former home of Trophies Plus and the new home of River City Interiors. Uh, on this project, uh, previously when this was Trophies Plus, uh, there was a large overhead door here for vehicles to drive in and out of. That door has since been removed, the nice big commercial window added, and then along the whole bottom of the building here, the stonework's been added to give it a nice wainscot to the building. Uh, they've also done some repairs to the stucco and some new paint for the building. So we're very happy to see this additional investment in the Vermilion Street Corridor here at River City Interiors. Hi Hastings, Eric Moss here with David Perez, owner and operator of El Mexican Restaurant. Uh, so David, could you tell us a little bit about what was done on the building? Yeah, we worked um, closely with Carl, who is the building manager or the building owner, I should say. And man, he, it, we were so lucky to have him as an owner because he really worked with us. He's like, you know what? I really care about your business. I want it to grow. So, you know, some of this money that I'm going to invest and the city's investing, I wanted to, to help you guys out. So uh, we he worked with us on the paint here. Uh, we did the, a little bit more of a modern look, which is the gray. At least we think it's very modern. Uh, he went ahead and threw on the awnings, which we 
I kind of was yes or no towards, but he really pushed us towards it, and I love how that, that worked out. They really give the building a whole new look, a little bit more of a modern look. The city was grateful for all the investment in 2022 in our Vermilion Street and downtown business areas. Uh, the city, as a result, has renewed the Facade Improvement Grant Program for 2023, again allocated $50,000 towards that grant program. Businesses in the downtown and Vermilion Street corridors can apply for that funding starting January 1st of 2023. Anybody with questions can visit the city's website or please call City Hall. Thank you.